Here's what's making news now around Indiana. After a long stint in real estate, Lacey Clark decided she was ready to quit corporate America and pursue her 10-year dream, owning a food truck. And not just any food truck, but a trough. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman has details. One might call it wine on wheels, or the best invention since sliced bread. A mobile bar that quite literally brings the party to right. you. Yeah. I do. We do eight ounce pours. That's true. Yeah. Thank you so much. Look, the wine trough is the brainchild of self professed mamapreneur Lacey Clark. And since opening for business less than a year ago, her trough has traveled to just about every corner of Indiana, quickly becoming a hit at Hoosier venues across the state. So we are a mobile wine bar. We also do beer and spirits, uh, and we do charcuterie. Charcuterie on steroids, that is. We have boards, we have charconery, and then we also have charcuterie tables. Um, our tables are filled from, you know, 10 foot uh, long boards all the way up into layers. And you do these yourself? I do, yeah. Um, <laughs> At first, I wasn't sure about them, but now that we've really gotten the hang of it, uh, my son will come into the kitchen and he helps me make the meat roses. That's his favorite. So we do this together. It's a lot of fun. We use as much local produce and protein as we can and fill it with carbs and vegetables. And for Hoosiers out there that truly value the concept of shopping local, the wine trough is the state's only traveling bar that sources locally. We like local a lot. Uh, we like to support local in everything that we can. So we carry local wines. We have everything from the local wood that was used in our bar to my son and I actually putting this flooring in ourselves. Uh, we had a local guy that came in that does the carpentry that cut out our shelves and we use local wine and we use local produce. So we're just big on supporting local. And Clark tells me although the wine trough is work, at the end of the day, it's a family affair. So perhaps, in some cases, if you really put yourself out there, it is possible to have it all. My family is full of entrepreneurs. I am not shy to start something that I think will do well or will uh, flourish or help people out. So I was definitely very um, <laughs> spirited about it. My husband will tell you that I bought it and within three and a half weeks we had our first event. So I had all my permits in place and everything you see inside of here done in, in about three and a half weeks. Um, <laughs> so it was interesting, but I think we've had a very, very receptive community. Everyone has loved what we've done. We've heard nothing but good feedback. And again, we're supporting the local wineries to keep them open during COVID. So it's not just about us. It's really about who we're supporting and keeping our money where we're working. Clark has another traveling food and wine truck that will hit the road this summer. She says this latest iteration is a literal horse trough she got from a farm friend in Noblesville. You can check out Lacey's story or book her for your next event at winetrough.com.